Hey, hey y'all, all right. So I am doing my Baldwin organizing today. This, sorry, coffee. <clears throat> Let me put this over here so it doesn't get knocked over. Uh, this case goes in my truck, obviously, in a case thing. And then this one I have out for um, moving back and forth from in the truck. That weighs like 40 pounds. This weighs like 50 pounds. So basically, I'm going to try to combine what I need out of here into there with it not being so huge and also try to protect some of this brass that may be getting banged up as well as sort out things like face plates get rid of the old plastic and see what I have actually in the truck and very frequently I will be using uh, like one of the reason why I carry different knobs is because we do have a lot of bald one around here and frequently one of the knobs will mess up and I also keep these old glass knobs as I find them however you run into issues where it's like split so I'm actually going to check that with a screwdriver no point carrying it if I'm not going to be able to use it right um, but there are literally hundreds of different knobs, shapes, and designs that one could possibly be carrying with them. So you do have to try to limit it as much as possible. But like these glass knobs really need to ride with me. These replacement parts here, the spindle, screw spindle strips out quite often on the inside of the mortise locks. That needs to go in my parts category and uh, we just have you know we may have too many rings don't really need a whole lot of rings with me at one time so they add up for sure and check the condition of some of these knobs and repackage them a little bit better Nothing wrong with that bag. That is a good knob as well. Actually, I've been looking for this knob. Oh, no, I haven't. I've got a collection of certain ones of these over here on the counter, but this one is not it. I'll try to keep the pristine ones. I've got antique stuff like this. If I was going to sell that, even though it's dented, uh, it would be pretty pricey, pretty pricey. Here we have hinge caps. So I'm going to re-repackage these. I would never, like if I'm out in the field and I have to find, you know, put together hinge cap. I would never have looked in here. I just threw it in here to get it out of the way. I also have a new container with the latches. I'd initially just started kind of throwing all these in here little by little. And another thing that you run into is some of the like egg shaped knobs you have some that use the screw spindle and then some that use the smooth spindle so you may have to carry one or two different knobs it's very common for those egg knobs to kind of get worn out but some of these parts like this is a swing plate for a bald one uh, mortise lock swings back and forth to cover the cylinder up i'm going to put these foam things to use Oh, hope everybody's doing well today. I had to close the door because they are still constructing on stuff out there. And it is very noisy. 
to say the least. This, uh, these look the same, but like this is solid. This is kind of a hollowed out brass. So it's a little bit lighter. Sometimes you have to own like old Corbins and stuff when I'm replacing doorknobs. These heavy brass ones will not. So here's our, here's our smooth. So it looks just like the egg screw on, except it uses the smooth collar there and uh, having these in the truck and see that scratch stuff that's one thing I hate about just the biggest issues with brass scratched up so it's really kind of hard to sell this particular one this one's not scratched but this one is if I was gonna sell these I would just price them based on what they look like really I would tell her oh, you want to put one of these back on I've got one I've actually got two when I'm a little scuffed up or you want a brand new one and uh, just give them two different prices on it um, but I do have a whole lot of these and those Oh, and see, here's my, I need, I need these for sure. This back plate, frequently people will put the strike plates on without that security plate and long screws. And then here we have a, uh, this is for a beveled or a uh, rabbited door. Little rosettes, this can go over here. That can go there. on the strike plates. Including long left ones. Which again you'll frequently run up on. People will use these short ones and their door frame is long and you'll see where the latch is scraped into the door frame so you need these longer ones to cover that jutting out frame or whatever you call it in builders terms. And even uh, plastic vest caps for behind the strikes. Technically, how one of these is supposed to go on, if you don't know, is uh, let's get one that's out of plastic here. Okay, we'll just use this for an example. So you have uh, to do a complete good install on this. You'll have long screws. You want to put the says towards the frame or towards the jam, so your long screws bite into the jam. And then you have your dust cup and in front of it, your plate, which only screws in with short screws. So if you have a Baldwin mortise lock on your door, you will definitely want to unscrew this plate to see if it's by itself or has the longer screws with it. Security plate is pretty important. And let's see, I got those are the same knobs there. So I got a lightweight category, but where where is the lightweights? Lightweight, lightweight, glass, lightweight, lightweight over here. And these are all the heavier ones. Put, put lightweights over here. Here, here, here. That's heavy. And these are heavy as well. Heavy, heavy, heavy. I've got several of those knobs, so I can take one or two out. There is another egg knob right there that is in new condition again i always try to push off the ones that are not so great condition because some people just want the knob to work if they've already got an old knob 
and they want to kick the camera why don't you Jason this is slightly different sizes same knob but slightly bigger here in case you can't see Yep, got too many of those for sure. Oh, here's another little. Here's another little. This can go attached to this. Get down to the bottom. And all the parts that you can ever find. Because they're on the bottom. So I definitely have, ow, what the hell just bit me? Something bit me. Screws. Uh, yeah, those are special screws. Those are uh, oval antique brass colored screws. And uh, small rivets, which I already have plenty of there. Some of these are dummy, though, probably, or have the dummy adapters in them. Uh, I need a screw box. Screw box. a uh, mortise cylinder ring which is different than these rings screw small part screw 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 ah. I'm gonna repackage that so I can see it better but that is a sliding door strike plate for a bald one. Um, if you have a pocket or a sliding door, that is pretty much necessary for it to catch. And very frequently, I say frequently and only mean frequently in that it's an infrequent item to see. So you infrequently see it, but frequently you will miss the, the strike plate will have disappeared and uh, because it just like yanks off the wall or whatever. So having that little bad boy in the finding room, you know, put it in here will be very handy one day. Never know when, but one day. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon. And you will never forget how long you looked for that part because you knew you had. and other screws which I already have right okay you know why is that here let's see we have mylar washers and brass washers so let's hold that screw uh, that is a something Wait, what, do we have? what else do we have mounting screws there. So we're just going to put all the washers into this. You got thick and thin. The thick ones were used on uh, rim lock, surface mount style rim locks that uh, look kind of like this. I'll show you. Those things. See the knob's got a shoulder on it, so you gotta have that thick washer 
to take up the gap in the knob like so. So that makes it sit flush on that thing. And the thin washers and the mylar washers are both for spacing and for use. They're called mylar, but you know, plastic, whatever it is. But that lets it kind of protect the brass a little bit longer. You frequently have to replace those mylar washers, which we sell, we have plenty of them. So if you need them, contact me. Um, this is a bushing of some kind. Don't know what again but it would come in handy for any number of things and then these little screws right here are your mounting plate screws which also come in handy because <laughs> again because if you look closely at the screw then you go to your local screw store this is a very unusually short number eight screw with a undercut head so this almost has to be needed because on door installs with your mortise lock in the door this cannot project out very far at all because you've got your door then you got your mortise lock so you've only got thin wood on each side and almost anything that you are going to be able to find in like box stores or even aces are going to not be just right for that application so having those little screws comes in handy 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 which is why i have a handy little mounting screw box as well as other various brass screws that are flathead and I'm aging them by leaving them in this plastic because on some doors you don't want a shiny brass screw. So we've got, this is screws for these knobs. These use a spindle that has holes in it. Which I don't have one out here. No, don't have one out here. And again, this is one of those things that you will not easily find in many stores because it's a oh, I think it was a 1024 thread and also it is cut just right to sit in there perfectly and screw into the threaded shaft threaded hole in the shaft so once again just a variety of screws that you will need. These are 5 sixteenths fine thread, which you will find sometimes on glass knobs and sometimes on the old iron knobs. Oh, guys, it's just a screw, but it's five quarter by fine thread, I think. I don't know, one of those sizes. Um, so yes, that is what I'm doing this morning, besides listening to the folks, folks outside tearing stuff up still. I also keep sometimes Baldwin screws in these, which I don't have any in there right now, so I need to rectify that, but if we pull out this, we will see several things. So we got some Baldwin screw packs there and there. Mylar washer. But basically, yeah, I'm just gonna come through and clean this part out and organize it a little bit. I'm not gonna make you watch all that. I just figured I'd uh, once again talk to y'all about what I was doing this morning. Gonna consolidate as much as I can into that. I don't need, you know, I may, may need four of these. So, I'll take four, put these rest back in my stock in the shop and lighten my load by half a pound times infinity and beyond, you know, trying to, trying
trying to keep the load light, but keep what you need in the truck. And I know the lighting got kind of crazy on that. So anyway, thanks for watching again, guys. Uh, my phone's ringing, so y'all have a good one. Peace out. Okay, I almost completed that video and didn't show you the end result. So this is my Baldwin kit now. I had all the strike plates mixed in with regular strike plates, which I did this case yesterday. Strike plates, they were there. So now I can uh, rearrange a little bit more with regular strike plates, all different kinds. And the Baldwin strike plates here, looks like all the same, but there's actually different finishes, different curved lip, flat lip, bigger hole, smaller hole. Uh, here's our parts. Here is more parts. Some uh, cylinder rings, screws, set screws, spindles, more parts, the little divots that hold cylinders in, mortise cylinders. Rosettes of several different kinds and sizes. Oh, I'm gonna put that like that so that it doesn't scratch. Mounting brackets, some bigger rosettes. Don't really use these a lot except in really bad cases where like the area around the knob on the inside of a door is chewed up. And over here we have our egg, that's all egg knobs, like darker brass. And then here's some specialty knobs. And I did not put any, many of my knobs in this because obviously I'm out of room. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to carry some of these door knobs. Uh, yeah, these door knobs have not made it back in the truck or the parts for the mounting things. So I almost need a whole nother thing for just door knobs, which I am going to try to sort out tomorrow morning probably just end up putting them back in this little container because I want to pad them very nicely so that should cover me once I get those back in there especially the glass ones so anyway I'm glad I finally got those two little drawers straightened out that strike plate drawer and the Baldwin drawer has been driving me crazy so Hopefully I'll get all that straightened out and uh, be done with the organizing of the shop for a while because we are in pretty good condition. But anyway, thanks again for watching, guys, and uh, we'll catch you all next time. Oh, there was a shooter at the YouTube headquarters today this afternoon, so several people got shot. And <sighs> Anyway, thoughts are with them, so hang on, YouTube guys, and uh, we'll catch you next time. See ya.